Welcome to Skygate Drones. This is how you use the Devo 10 with your multi-copter RTF kit with five different flight modes out of the box. Turn the throttle all the way down or press OK, which is enter. You have up arrow, down arrow, exit, enter, right and left. It's really easy to switch between radio modes. We are in radio mode 3 right now. Press enter. It'll say model menu number 1. This will no normally be left on the last navigation that you did. If it's on another sub menu, just press the up and down. Model menu, enter. Model setup, enter. Load, enter. Go up and down to select your radio mode. Let's go to radio mode 1, enter, and that's it. You're done. You can press OK or you can press exit and go back to the default screen. We're in radio mode 1. F with the arrow up means the fence is up. On radio mode 1 and radio mode 2, the fence is always up. Radio mode 3, you have the option to drop the fence. Again, let's navigate. Let's go to radio mode 2. Enter, 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 load, radio mode 2, enter. That's it. And now you just exit. You're in radio mode 2. Let's go to radio mode 3. Enter, enter, enter. Radio mode 3, enter. That's it. Just press exit to get out. Radio mode 3. On radio mode 3, the fence is not up. You control it with the dual rate switch. Let's go over the switches. Top right, it is the fence towards you. The fence is on or up away from you the fence is off your auxiliary button 4 is for your camera tilt straight down or forward or in between any angle in between auxiliary 5 is not used not active your flight mode switch away from you is stabilized middle position is altitude hold towards you is loiter mode which is the safest way to fly it holds the position and the altitude. The aileron dual rate stick is for circle. Make sure that you are flying high enough so there's no obstacles and that you are in loiter mode for your safety and switch the switch down towards you. The copter will start moving slowly in circles with the camera facing in so you can film your objects in a perfect circle. This switch and this switch, the gear and the aileron dual rate, they're all on channel 5. They will override each other in sequence. This one will override the stabilize, we're altitude mode, loiter will override the other two circle will override this switch now so it doesn't matter where this switch is the reason I mention it to leave it in loiter mode is that if you come out of circle it's nice that the copter will just sit there and hold its position and its altitude next one is the auto which is this it navigates to your pre-programmed waypoints you go to a location and an altitude that you want with the copter, preferably in loiter mode. You hold this switch up for a few seconds and let go. It is a momentary switch. By pressing this up and holding it for a few seconds and letting it down, you can just one second, it's fine. It will record the waypoint of where the copter was. Go to another location and altitude press it up and let go. Go to another location and you can do as many locations as you want. 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 12. Then when you're done recording the waypoints you hit this switch towards you and it will start the auto navigation and it will go to the different waypoints. 
go to the first waypoint, stop, wait a second, immediately face the other direction towards the other waypoint and go to the next waypoint and so forth. When it comes to the last waypoint, it will sit there and hover in altitude and position hold. Make sure for your safety, leave this switch in position loiter, which is up. This is all possible in radio mode three, which is what we are in right now. The long switch is the return to launch emergency switch. It overrides all these other switches. If you have lost your orientation or you're too far or you're not sure what's going on and you want to bring the copter back, just turn on return to launch. It will fly up to 70 feet and it will turn around, head towards the location where it launched and land all by itself. After it lands, if you want to turn the motors off, the propellers off, just bring the throttle down for a moment. Normally to turn off and disarm, you would put the throttle all the way down and hold it to the left for a few seconds. And that is the function and we have also the mix. The mix is for the OSD on screen display. On position zero it will show nothing on the screen you can just have your video. Position in the middle will show the vital navigation data on your screen and position two will show the vital data plus extra auxiliary data information on your screen. Um, now switching back to radio mode one Presuming we are in radio mode one right now, all these switches are locked to loiter mode for your safety. And it doesn't matter what you do, you can't flick the wrong switch. The fence is always up. The only switch that does work is your emergency return to launch. You flick it down and the copter will come back to you and land. Also, the camera is always available for you to tilt it. On screen display, it is on program to be on position one so you don't lose your vital data. Radio mode two, you have access to stabilize mode, altitude mode, and loiter mode. The other switches are not active except again return to launch, which is fully active at all times. On radio mode 2, again, this is on, always on, no matter what position you put this mix switch, you're going to have your vital OSD data on your screen. In radio mode 3, you have access to all the functions, including turning off the OSD, and you can drop the fence, and so forth. Also, the trims. On radio mode 1, the trims are inactive. Radio mode 2, you can actually jump by 10 the trims to put the throttle all the way down if there's an instance that you want to simulate holding the throttle down like this because it's spring loaded. On radio mode 3, you also have access to the throttle trim, which is this one, plus these other trims, which the step on them is 0.1 and the step on the throttle is 10. And that is how the Devo 10 is set up to programmed to work with your RTF drone kit. Thank you very much for watching.